हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कंत प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लाइग्रेंजेस मेथड दैट इज कंस्ट्रेंट मैक्सिमाइजेशन लेट्स बिगिन इन मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स इट इज नेसेसरी टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम ऑफ ए फंक्शन ऑफ सेवरल वेरिएबल इन हुईज द वेरिएबल्स आर कनेक्टेड बाई सम गिवेन रिलेशन और कंडीशन दैट रिलेशन इज नोन एज आवर कंस्ट्रेंट दैट इज द मेथड इज नोन एज कंस्ट्रेंट मैक्सिमाइजेशन दैट मीन्स इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम एंड द मिनिमम ऑफ ए फंक्शन दैट इज आइदर वन वेरिएबल और दैट इज मोर देन वन वेरिएबल लाइक दिस सो दिज फंक्शंस आर कनेक्टेड विथ ए गिवेन रिलेशन and that relation is known as our constraint and the method in which we find out its solution is very popular and it's is very convenient to use and that name was synonymous with lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier and that method is known as lagrange's method of on determined multiplier on determined multiplier on determined multiplier let's uh, we discuss what is lagrange's method of on determined multiplier uh, let u is a function of x y z where x y z are related by a known constraints related by a known constraints let that constraint constraint let it be phi is a function of x y z is equal to 0 that is the function and this one is the constraint constraint means the condition or the relation uh, that is uh, made between these functions is known as our constraint and at that case the constraint was uh, given that is phi x y z is equal to 0 so for stationary value for stationary value value of u stationary value for u that is f of x f of y is equal to f of z is equal to 0 that is f of x means that is del u by del x and f of y in the sense del u by del y and f of z that is del u by del z is equal to 0 then the total derivative the total derivative by total differential that is df is equal to that is f is a function of x y z then the total derivative of f we can write like this del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy plus del f by del z into dz is equal to 0 also the total differential of the constraint the total differential of that of a function given by this and the total differential of that of a constraint we can write d f is equal to del f by del x into d x plus del f by del y into d y plus del f by del z into d z is equal to zero. An additional unknown constant. lambda which is known as 
Lagrange's multiplier is introduced so that the equation 4 is multiplied by lambda and we get let uh, that is equation number 1, equation number 2 and equation number 3 and equation number 4. We have to multiply a constant named as lambda. That constant lambda is known as our Lagrange's multiplier and add these two equation, equation 3 and 4, we get multiplied by lambda, lambda which is known as Lagrange's multiplier. multiplied lambda on both sides of equation 4 and add equation 3 and 4. We get del f by del x plus lambda del phi by del x into dx plus del f by del y plus lambda del phi by del y into dy plus del f by del z plus lambda del phi by del z into dz is equal to 0. As x, y and z are independent variables, that is why the above equation will satisfy. If the conditions that means uh, this term equate to 0, that term 0 and that term also equate to 0. If f, uh, if x, uh, y and z are independent variables, so that of condition del f by del x plus lambda del phi by del x is equal to 0, that equation number 5, del f del y plus lambda del phi by del y equal to 0, let equation number 6 and del phi by del z plus lambda del phi by del z is equal to 0, let equation number 7. Solving 5, 6 and 7, we can uh, find out the unknown quantities like x, y and z and lambda. Then the stationary points of x, y, z subject to the constant can be obtained. So, this is the way uh, uh, through which we find out the Lagrange's method that is the constraint maximization. This one is the method. What is that method? First of all, we discuss why Lagrange's method of undefined multiplier is introduced because of uh, the necessity to find the maximum and minimum of a function that function is either uh, one variable, two variable and so on and that a function which is uh, uh, related uh, some conditions that condition is known as our constraint. So, we give the function and the constraint then differentiate uh, a total derivative of that of function and total derivative of that of constraint and equate this as 0 uh, and uh, add these equations by multiplying a constant that is our Lagrangian multiplier that is known as that is nothing but lambda and add this to since the functions like x, y and z are independent the variables sorry the variables like x, y and z are independent uh, uh, variables that's why we equate uh, these individual terms into 0 and finally we solve these uh, three equations and find out uh, the unknown quantities like x y z and lambda so in this way uh, we um, solve the problems that is uh, related to our uh, uh, maximum or minimum by using a well known method that is lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier so let us solve a question related to this field. Using this method, we can easily solve out the question. The question is, find the minimum value, find the minimum value 
of the function is given x square plus y square plus z square subject to condition that is constraint max constraint is given that is x y z is equal to a q how to solve the function is given and the constant is given so we can find out our solution first of all here the function x y z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and constraint equation and constraint constraint equation is phi of x y z is equal to x y z minus a q that is the condition of constraint therefore the auxiliary function therefore the auxiliary function that is f of x y z that is the auxiliary function we can relate these two equations by using lagrangian multipliers that is f of x y z plus lambda lambda is the lagrangian multiplier that is phi of x y z that is which implies f of x y z is equal to f of x y z is what now x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda whole into x y z minus a q that is the equation number one then the partial derivatives like del f by del x is equal to 0 which implies 2x plus lambda y z is equal to 0 and del f by del y is equal to 0 which implies 2y plus lambda x z is equal to 0 and uh, del f by del z is equal to 0 which implies 2 z plus lambda x y is equal to 0 these are the three partial derivatives and we equate these three partial derivatives to 0 and then solve this from equation we named it as equation 3, equation 4 and equation number 5. We write from equation 2, 3 and 4 we get that is 2x is equal to minus lambda yz which implies if I multiply x on both sides that change to 2x square is equal to minus lambda x y z and 2y is equal to minus lambda x z which implies multiplied y on both sides that is 2y square is equal to minus lambda x y z and again 2z is equal to minus lambda xy which implies 2z square equal to minus lambda xyz. We have to look at these three that is minus lambda xyz, minus lambda xyz and minus lambda xyz. That's why we can write 2x square is equal to 2y square is equal to 2z square which implies x square is equal to y square is equal to z square 
and again x is equal to y is equal to z. So, putting these values, putting the values of what x, y, z in equation x, y, z is equal to a q that is the condition of constraint that is the condition we get we get what x is equal to a y is equal to a and z is equal to a now we find x y and z hence we can write hence the minimum value of the function is given by x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 3 a square. Now, we can solve out our question that is find the minimum value of that of function subject to condition is that given. We use Lagrange's method. First of all, we define that function and constant condition. Now, we relate this two by using Lagrangian multiplier that is lambda. We can write the auxiliary equation in this form and we partially differentiate this function with respect to x, y and z and find three equations and relate these three equations and find out our condition that is x is equal to y equal to z then putting this value in the constant condition and find x equal to a, y equal to n and also z equal to a. Hence the minimum value of that of function putting these values of uh, x, y and z we find that is equal to 3 a square. So, in this way we study what is Lagrange's method of constraint maximization uh, and uh, by using this method we solve a problem related to this particular uh, condition that is uh, how we use Lagrange's multiplier method for constraint maximization. So, with this uh, valuable notes uh, let me mind of this session. Thank you.